Final result for both fans drive Leicester City 2 2 Chelsea. How you see the match? Man, the match, the match switch, but I did disappointed. I did disappointed with Lampard, our coach. Lampard wants to turn Chelsea to England national team. If you watch the football today, the England uh, footballers they didn't really do well. Yes, so I expected him to do some changes, but even the changes he did, instead of bringing Bashwai in, he brought in um, uh, Barkley. So I'm not impressed with Lampard. He needs you to feel he has his England bias is too much. Yes, of course, he's biased with playing more of England players than other uh, countrymen. Oh yeah. Interesting. What about that second goal? Leicester's second goal. What was Caballero doing there? Uh, well, the, the Caballero was 40. Caballero fucked up. But what he would have done is to remain in the defense and allow the strike the defenders to to, to attack yeah. but he now came out on the process of trying to return that was when the goal coming yeah. came in yeah, yeah. interesting so should keep a remain on the bench now because it seems Chelsea have been le leaking goals <laughs> left right and center they've changed the keeper they've changed some players in the defense yeah, Rich yeah. James is starting what's the solution to that Chelsea's defensive problem now well the the problem the the, the solution to Chelsea problem we need to buy a a, a good defender that has stamina a commanding defender that has the stamina, that has the speed, that have the experience. Well, right now, with the combination of uh, Rogiga, uh, Christensen, Tomare, and uh, I'm still no, it's not really working. They need somebody that will command that defense, that they will work with. There was a transfer ban, then they lifted the ban. Yes. One full month for Frank Lampard to find players, and then it seemed like it was on the last day they started looking for players. What went on there? Uh, well, actually, what went on was Lampard. As I told you, he's he's been biased. He was trying to buy an England defender, so he didn't really succeed. So on the process of when the time was too late for him, so he was trying to now look for somebody to, at all at all. So there was no opportunity. There was nobody that was willing to sign at that time minute. So that's why we couldn't sign any player. This. It's interesting. Top four hopes for this season. Are you confident Chelsea can make it? Mm, well, um, oh, top four hope. My brother is by God's grace. I, as a Chelsea fan, I'm not so sure. With If he continues like this, with the way he's been biased, playing more of England player, I don't think he will going to make that top four. It's just by, <laughs> by luck. <laughs> well, it's a nice game. Like the normal English game we normally know as an early kickoff, always draw game, you know. From the beginning, I saw it as going to be a draw game. You see, uh, I did it. No, behind side, they make you talk this one. No, no, no. no. Match don't end now. Why are they confident no, like no. this? No, I, I told those watching with me, the followers were with me, I told them that it's going to be a draw game. I even told 1-1, one, one, but unfortunately, it came up 2-2. Two, two. So, it's a nice game, but Chelsea didn't do the best as they normally do before. That's the issue. Mm -hmm. We think Caballero will be the two for that um, Leicester <laughs> second goal. We think they try to do they need to pursue masquerade or something. Well, my own normal football star is that, that you know, star, even before now, he was he has been benched because of this same issue, yeah, you know, understand, mistake. So, but unfortunately for him, he repeated the same. I think in next match, the coach might just keep him by and use Kepa Rizabalaga for the next game. That's what I think. Mm -hmm. On to Kepa now. He was starting, Chelsea yeah. were conceding goals, and yeah. then he has been benched, yeah. still conceding goals. Rudiger, Christensen, Tomori, Zuma, different defensive com uh, combinations. Yeah. Chelsea are still conceding goals. What's, what's, what seems to be going on in that defence? Um, in conclusion, from my own observation, I think the, def the, the goals conceding issues are not just keepers' fault. It's more, keep it's more, of, more, of, more of defensive work mm -hmm. than keepers' fault. I think there should be a synchronization of two or four defenders. Mm. That's two middle defenders, that's yeah. central defenders. Yeah. There should be two persons that should be standing and not using this for this. Mm. Next time you change, you swap that again. You understand? That exactly when when you and I work together always, we know our lapses and weakness, know your strength, you know, when to cover and when to give way. Yeah. So but if I keep changing, next time I meet another person, just like a company employing yeah. different hands to handle the same you understand. Mm. The customers most time they don't build up confidence on those those staffs, you know, the face so, that you're seeing that, every time. You need that, st that steady face or that mutual workability to be there. So that's the issue. I don't think it's keeper's fault right now. I think it's defensive error. So they're supposed to keep a lot. The best keeper is not just the best by uh, by ability. It's the best of the defense. Yeah. You understand? That's what's happening to the gear right now. You check the gear. You discover the same thing. He's a very good keeper by profession, but defense, defense is uh, very poor. So that's the issue. Not just keeper's fault. Can they, can they make can they make top four Chelsea? Um, them making top four depends on the performance of their their five co-fighters in the likes of Manchester United and Tottenham. But if they are co-fighters, 
maintain their weakness. As in being yeah, so inconsistent, inconsistent, sorry. Yeah. The way they've been now. I think Chelsea will make, but if they are co-fighters, they are full competent to step up their game, Chelsea might not really make top four. That's the thing. Uh, the match uh, was very tough anyway. Yes, very tough. So I really want to say that they did very well somehow, but there are also some lapses. Like? From the attacking. Somebody like um, Abraham. Abraham. Yes. I think he's supposed to add, he should add some physical fitness in his planes. He's a bit too light. Any small thing, the long shade, I don't fall. So the defenders they always uh, muzzle him out. Yes, yes. So I, I'm expecting him to add some little fitness in his ball so that he can make. There are chances for him to make the defense to score but because of that physical fitness he doesn't have that stamina yes. that stability yes. so he should try to improve on that area yes caballero today waiting uh, this is another it's a very good uh, development for chess anyway because i have been saying it severally that uh, they should give him a chance because this guy kepa he has been very poor in his performance you can imagine every ball that just in that net, it's a go. <laughs> he has never made any save. Mm. But look at uh, Caballero today. At least he made three, three save, important three save today. So I think he's okay. Me, I, 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 will, I, will, I will suggest they should keep on, they should go on with uh, Caballero. But, but what did they do for that Leicester second goal? What did they run up and down for? What did he, he lost something in Kiev? He has to also go for the goal so that to. Well, I feel saying so no calculate himself well. Uh, he didn't calculate very well. He was supposed to rush back in time. Yeah. It's only that he, he, he rushed back a little bit late and uh, uh, slow. So, but all the same, they try very well. And I also want to commend uh, Rudiger, yeah. who really worked very hard yeah. on this game today. Yeah. Ali, this is the first uh, goal from the be uh, beginning of the season. Yeah. So he has tried very well. I was thinking that maybe for this uh, January, they don't leave the ban, you know, sign anybody. Everybody was expecting at least yes, if anybody goes sign, Chelsea go sign. Yes, I was expecting them to sign at least, even if it was two defenders or one defender, one striker. Mm -hmm. One striker will come and help uh, 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 this guy, Abraham, at the front there. So, so for the defense, they really need to work on the defense. They need to work on the defense. So that is what I want to say for the defense area. They need to work on it. Moving on now. Do you feel if you say Chelsea did top for now, but then he finish the season for that top four way then they? You know, there are five points ahead of, ahead of uh, Man U. Yeah. So <laughs> they, need, they, they need to improve in their game. Because if they don't improve, anything can happen in football, they will drop. Yeah. So you don't be surprised. Before you know it, now Man U win two matches now. They don't, they, don't, they, don't, they, will, they will top us. So I just want to encourage them to put more effort and so that we can remain at least even if we don't uh, uh, climb uh, to the next uh, this thing. If you can remain out of no problem, the next season we, we sit up and plan very well and work hard. Uh, the game was nice. First half was kind of drab. No goals. But um, second half the game came back to life. Um, Rudiger with two goals. Leicester City, you know, scoring first, equalizing and then getting the win. Generally very, very nice game. Rudy got today two goals and then he looks to be back to the Chelsea defence but Chelsea defence still seems to be having those issues. They are still conceding goal after goal after goal. What's, what's wrong there? What's wrong? Well, it looks like Chelsea's problem is not really their defence. Maybe it's their goalkeeper. Today, the number one goalkeeper for Chelsea has and Kepa is Abalaga. He wasn't in the game. The coach needed to, you know, tell him that, look, guy, you're not the all and all in the team. You're replaceable. Yeah. And then Caballero today, well, I, I didn't really see that, uh, you know, Except two saves he made, I didn't really see that, you know. What was he doing? What was he doing for that Leicester second goal? What was he about doing there? What he, in full form for that place or waiting? Well, as a goalkeeper, I mean that ball was 50-50. No one was there. I'm sure first instinct he wants to get the ball. But unfortunately he wasn't that fast. So but by the time he could get back get back to the goal post, uh, the, the the damage has already been done. Moving forward now, do you think Kepa should come back in or you feel Caballero should remain? Well, if I was the manager, I would have given him like two or three games out. Just two or three games. Let him, you know, let's see how far Caballero can go. If Caballero is good for two or three games, if he makes some nine saves, I think there is nothing wrong in starting Caballero ahead of Kepa. There was someone that came on here. What he said was that Frank Lampard is being too biased towards the English players. He's putting too many English players in front. And then it's because of the same English players. That's why he didn't make any signings during the January transfer window. And it's affecting Chelsea. Do you see any... He may have a point because Chelsea has got um, Tammy Abraham, Messi Mount, Hudson Odoi, 
these are all English players, Rhys James. And then maybe he feels like these players are good enough, so why do I need to sign players? Well, if Frank Lampard is manager, if he feels that these players are good for me, these players are the ones that can implement my plan more. I mean, let's give him time and see. If he ends this, I mean, Chelsea are, you know, not far from... They are, they are fourth position, right? Yeah. Chelsea are in the Champions League places. I think if they finish like that this world this season, there's no, there's no big deal. Interesting, interesting, interesting one. Can they make the top four? Do you feel they are in line or they can? Because it's like um, Liverpool and City is done, but like it's those positions, third, fourth, third and fourth, that are up for grabs. And it's like nobody wants it at the moment. Everybody from third to tenth is so inconsistent, winning this week, losing the next week. Do you feel Chelsea can get to that top four? They're already there. I feel they'll be there because, uh, trust me, the guys are under the Man United, Tottenham, let's even talk about Arsenal, Man United, Tottenham, <laughs> and then maybe Wolves, they are not really, really giving that, you know, kind of competition right now. I think Chelsea are like seven, four, five, six points ahead of the rest of them. So if they go like this till the end of the season, I mean, who says they won't? And for sure, Liverpool has been taking, Massey have been taking, Leicester also, they look like they are, the top four is there already. So I think it's just Chelsea, and between Chelsea and Man United, but... Uh, it looks like Chelsea had the more serious team to take it. Very fantastic match. It was a cracker. Yes. A cracker of a game. Mm. But Leicester would have won if they had coordinated themselves properly. Yeah. Because they played more better than Chelsea. Mm. That's why the Chelsea was pressing so. Yeah. Uh, they, Leicester would have won the match. But it was out of this an experience. They have to re, re, re understand. They have to understand their players, yeah. learn from it, and then next time they will have to win. Because they have more chances than Chelsea. Let's start second goal today. Waiting Caballero with the try to be there. <laughs> Running from pillar to post and then conceding the goal. In fact, he considered, he considered the goal. He thought that he would be able to chase the player yeah. or the striker yeah. out of the ball and then catch the ball. But he miscalculated. He couldn't be able to get the, yeah. get the ball. And before he could recover, it was, the ball was in the net. Yeah, it was in the net. Rudy got two goals today. Two solid goals from a defender. It's not something fantastic. you see every day. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. He has improved. Yeah. Because every star improves every day. So Rudiger improved so much today, and I think he gave the Chelsea the, the, the point they had today. Hopes for top four this season. Can Chelsea make it? It's not possible. It's not possible. It's not possible. Yeah, they are too inconsistent. Eh? Too inconsistent. They cannot be able to make the top four this season. Because I think that Liverpool, Manchester City, Leicester themselves, yeah. and uh, Sheffield, Sheffield, Wolves, Man United. They are all, they are all moving forward. They are making, making serious efforts yeah. to be in the top four. So Chelsea... Unless they will improve, unless they will improve more than this, if not, they cannot make the top four this time.